Obviously one of the main reasons the Mini 3 Pro exists is its size. It's small, it's quiet, it's under 250 grams, but one of the biggest drawbacks is its locked 1.7 aperture. But thanks to these, we're about to unlock this drone's full potential. So if you're using the Mini 3 Pro as a cinematography or social content drone, being able to control every aspect of the drone's capabilities is a must. And one of those is wanting to keep your shutter at double the frame rate to get that nice natural looking motion blur when the drone or subject you're shooting is moving at speed. Now, particularly on a sunny day, if you start increasing your shutter speed too high to compensate for the exposure levels, the footage will start to look a little choppy and not very cinematic at all. Now in this video we're going to be looking at four different types of filters provided by Freewell to see if they're worth the price, the benefits that they provide other than just controlling the shutter speed and also when to use them. First up we have your standard ND filters. Now these are solely used to control your shutter speed and usually you want to add double your frame rate to get that natural looking motion blur which looks most cinematic. Now here's an example of controlling the exposure with the shutter. Now the image is exposed correctly, however, if we take a closer look at the motion around the edges of the frame, the details are still there. We don't have that nice natural motion blur. Now what these ND filters do is basically, they're like sunglasses for your lens and depending on the brightness of the sun or the scene, you can select which ones best suit your purpose. Now in this all day six pack, the ND filters you get are ND4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 1000. Now, here's a list you can pause on to screen grab that gives you an idea of the number of f-stops that the different grades can account for, as well as typical scenarios that each of these grades of NDs is suited for. Now, as I just mentioned, this pack has an ND1000 filter. Now, when would you use this? Well, mostly this would be used for photography purposes as this level of ability to cut the light by around 10 f-stops isn't really practical for video, even in the brightest conditions, which is usually what the ND64 is for. Instead, using for photography or hyperlapses can lead to those gorgeous milky long exposures when you keep your exposure levels down of say water or creating street trails in traffic. So next up are the NDPL and CPL filters. Now, the NDPL filters give you the best of both worlds as it reduces glare from reflections in water and windows, as well as helps decrease the shutter speed. However, when it comes to filter functionality, these NDPL filters work best when shooting at 90 degrees from the angle of the sun due to the polarization of light in a specific direction. So if you move the drone around, you may notice this in the gradient changing, say in the sky hue, as the light from the sun hits the lens differently. But because of this polarization, these filters actually provide more color saturation in your image. This pack comes in a PLND 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64, and they follow the same principles of when to use as the lighting conditions of just the standard NDs. So here's that table again for your reference. Now keep in mind, you don't always need to launch the drone to test what the best filter is to have on as the light will be hitting the lens the same in the air as it would be on the ground. So we always recommend holding the drone up in the direction you think you'll be flying and just adjust it on the ground before launching to save yourself some time guessing if you're not too certain. But after a little while using filters, selecting these would become second nature. Now the CPL filter in this pack is specifically designed to focus on the reduction of glares and reflections, and because of that, it provides additional color and contrast to your image. It doesn't, however, offer any reduction in light entering the lens, so it's best used in scenarios when motion blur isn't as important as a cleaner image, or maybe best used in some photography scenarios. Now, because the Mini 3 Pro's camera can change from portrait to landscape, another thing that makes this drone so versatile, it means the polarization is dependent on the way the light enters the lens. Now, Freewell have added to this lens a handy little notch that you can turn from horizontal, which is the H, to vertical, which is the little V, depending on what you want to shoot. So it's just good to have that in mind when pre-planning these shots, but it's very handy to have that so it's not a guessing game when you know which way you need to have the polarization before you launch the drone. Which brings us to some filters for drone photography. Now these long exposure filters come in ND128, 256, 512 and 2000. Yes, 2000. 
Now using some of the lower end Ds, this would work perfect for tracking subjects when matching constant speeds like a boat or car. So when firing the shutter for extended exposure length, the subject stays relatively sharp while the surroundings are a bit blurred. But also these can be used for beach or water scenes to get those milky long water trails that otherwise would be impossible to capture without NDs at this density. Especially the ND2000, which can reduce the light by 11 stops. In fact, we tried this by testing out as a day exposure for some traffic and we were very impressed with the results. These other NDs can also potentially be used for your hyperlapses because it's basically doing the same principle when taking images, which can add some nice motion blur to the overall hyperlapse. Finally, the UV filter. Now, this doesn't offer any reduction in overall exposure, but instead helps absorb almost all ranges of UV rays to give brighter and sharper pictures with less haze. Now, you might wanna use this in conditions where the drone is moving slowly or there's not much subject movement in the frame, so motion blur isn't as important. Now we actually recommend leaving this filter on your drone as the stock lens cap because the one that actually comes with the drone is a little bit too thick when you put it into one of the free wall cases. So using this UV lens and just storing the, what the stock one was ensures that you can safely close and store this filter whenever switching it out for any of the other NDs without worrying that it's gonna fall out. Now to the question that we get the most. Seeing as this drone is already 249 grams, won't adding any one of these filters push this over the 250 gram limit, pushing it into another category? Well, thankfully no, the UV long exposure and standard NDs are all 0.7 grams. So seeing as you need to remove the front cap to add it, we're still under 250 grams. And even though the ND CPR filters are 1.1 grams, when we measured this on the scale, the drone was still 249 grams, which is great news seeing as you don't need to worry about the drone going into another category so you still have the flexibility of operating closer than 3.5 nautical miles of an active aerodrome. But as always, check your local laws. So guys, we're stoked to finally have some filters for this little guy and at under 300 Australian dollars for all these filters, that's a pretty good deal. And it gives this drone the versatility to always get that cinematic motion blur regardless of the scenario, as well as basically elevating this to one of the best flying cameras around. Plus, there's an ND2000 filter. I think the only filters that we found on the market that have an ND2000 option is Freewell, so well done guys. Now, I'm also a big fan of the cases these come in. It's, it's rigid, it has a nice magnetic lock, so these aren't going to come loose in your gear bag. And they also come with a lens cloth, which is always handy to have to remove any smudges that might occur when taking the filters on and off. All right guys, we recommend you pick up some filters for the Mini 3 Pro if you have one to really unlock all the capabilities that this little drone can do. Now there's a link in the description if you guys are interested in the Freewell filters. Uh, you can click through there, it doesn't cost you any more and also helps us keep bringing you guys content on here. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.